We are currently uh, apparently having some sort of active shooter uh, situation in Chattanooga. Um, it ha started about 30 minutes ago, as far as what I understand. A guy uh, went up to one of our Army uh, and Navy um, recruitment centers and opened fire. I'm not sure if he killed anyone. I think he wounded someone. Then the police chased him to... Um, another place apparently he was planning to go anyway because he crashed the gate at this uh, naval uh, center on, on the river um, and I'll maybe I'll try to stick a, a Google map in here to show the locations of these places because I know exactly where they are and uh, he rams at the gate of that it's like a um, training it's like a naval training center it's right on the river and they can do diving and stuff over there and apparently he shot uh, apparently um you know whoever's heading up that location tried to return fire but now i'm trying to figure out if the guy is still on the loose it sounds like he's still on the loose in some sort of silver mustang so i gotta go to east chattanooga lumber which i'm not sure how close i can get it's actually within a half a mile of that so i'm headed there now i mean if i see or hear anything um uh i'll, I'll see what i can do the street feeding amicola highway chat state is on lockdown erlanger with the officer and reportedly personnel from the navy slash marine corps building there at the river park have been taken is also locked down the incident apparently began this morning at the army recruiting station on lee highway where there are reports of a person being shot in the leg. So that's an additional person taking gunfire. Police vehicles screamed up Highway 153 onto Amnicola and to the Navy Operational Support Center at the River Park. That's where the officer was shot. The situation is still playing out, but you are not using Amnicola Highway anytime soon. And all businesses and buildings there on Amnicola between the River Park and the Coke plant and in that general surrounding area are on lockdown. Well, it's funny because I just put the truck in reverse and I turned on the radio and that report was playing. Uh, so I guess I won't be necessarily going to East, East Chattanooga Lumber. <laughs> let me uh, let me go see if they actually do have the entire Amnicola Highway shut down. Reports that now at least precautions are being taken in Nashville and Knoxville. So it has, it started at Chattanooga, but has now become widespread. And then really, Kevin, just in the last uh, hour or so that it first came down at... Uh, the Naval the Operations Academy, thing is over there. Daylight time, Homeland Security training center. in Knoxville alerted just in the past. Now, I'm coming up on where I can get on in the Highway. Well, it doesn't look like they have this blocked. Wow, so the entire length of Anacola Highway is not shut down. I guess we'll see where it starts. Now this is a little crazy. We're getting kind of close to, we're within a mile. I guess they can't, there's just too much business going on out here to shut this down. But um, we're getting really close. To the naval uh, training center, I expect to start seeing signs that say "turn around" any minute. I just noticed that there's one of the police service centers. They had it kind of blocked off, and here is where we got to turn around. That scared the crap out of me. I thought they might have seen me videoing and decided they were going to pull me over. See if I can sneak here. What's 
what's ironic is that this is the 911 center right here. So, anyway, East Chattanooga Lumber is down this road, so I had a <laughs> I had an excuse to be here if I needed to needed one. <laughs> Search on them the Cole Highway at the Naval Reserve building and, and the uh, Marine building there. There are three buildings, to my understanding, Kevin, you can speak on that more than I can. But my understanding is there are three buildings at that location. Is that correct? There's actually one building, but there are different sides. There's a Marine side and there's a Navy side, and it's a two-story building. Uh, small staff, very small staff. Uh, so, you know, even on... Uh, it was it, unless it was a drill weekend, which it obviously was not. Uh, you just have your full-time support staff there, so there aren't a lot of sailors and marines there. Um, but I uh, do have reports of one sailor and one marine uh, being at least wounded uh, there at the Navy Operational Support Center slash Marine Corps Reserve Center. Okay, well, sounds like they do have a suspect in custody. I was wondering why they were uh, just seemed to be sort of. Uh, you know, a sort of immobile, in, in immobile mood, mode, because when I showed that intersection there, it didn't seem like they were acting like, uh, the feeling I was getting was that there was nobody, that there was nobody they were still chasing or looking for. There's no helicopters in the sky, there's no SWAT teams driving around, so anyway, uh, that doesn't mean just because I didn't see them, it wasn't happening, but uh, anyway, the point really is, um, and I'm, I'm going to try to keep this video from being very long. I never assumed, well, I kind of assumed it could, but it, we live in kind of a small town. Chattanooga is not that big. And you just think, oh, nothing like that will ever happen in my town. Well, they, things like this do happen in, in your town. And um, it's, it's important, you know, it's important to at least have a minimal amount of... <laughs> protection uh, on your person and um, it's just if you don't you know if you don't I encourage you to go ahead and get some training and uh, get some advice and um, get yourself a, a CCW and 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 just you know arm yourself and and be happy I don't this this is just a tool for me Okay, when I, I've got saws and ladders and you know whatever screwdrivers in the back of the truck. Uh, this is the tool that just happens to be closest by me, and that's the way. I, after a while, if you're a new, if you're a new shooter or if you're new to carrying, it seems odd at first, but you just have to kind of get into the practice of it, and sooner or later, this will just feel like a. Uh, part of uh, any other part of your EDC, my wallet, I gotta get my keys, I gotta get my Glock, you know, I gotta get my camera. <laughs> so, if you're a YouTuber like me, so anyway, just want to encourage you, it's not scary to carry. Hey, I just created an anthem, it's not scary to carry. Anyway, I'm not trying to make light of the situation, but um. It's because it sounds like they got the suspect, but it doesn't sound like too many people will find out tonight, I guess, or soon. Hopefully not too many people were hurt. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Nice.